Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Security Nibbles. First off, thank you so much for joining me here today and having an interest in what we're doing. So I love showing folks tools that uh, help them to make their jobs easier, that make it easier to map to information. But sometimes I also like to introduce business owners or folks that maybe aren't as interested in pen testing, cybersecurity testing, things of that nature, but really just want to know kind of the landscape of their business and, and understand how things connect to their business and what their footprint looks like on the internet. And so if you're a security professional, I'm sure that you've heard of tools like DN Map, uh, DNS Enum, DNS Map, DNS Recon, DNS Trace, DNS Walk. I mean, there's just a laundry list of tools that are out there. If you're familiar with the Kali Linux distribution, there are plenty of options to choose from. But the thing that I like about this tool is that anyone can use it to get an idea of how, again, their systems present to the internet and what their, their DNS information looks like. So today uh, we're on the site DNS Dumpster. You may have heard of it, you may not. And you'll see here that I've already done some searches. But for the sake of testing this and showing you, we're going to use Google.com today. Now, you want to make sure, even though this is passive testing and it's not really active, we still want to make sure that we're not just blindly testing domains that don't belong to us. We want to make sure that we have permission and, of course, that we're doing things with the best of intent. Now, if you own the business or you're wanting to understand how your business, again, looks to the Internet, then this is an excellent tool. Now, it's not going to give you uh, port information, things of that nature. There are some options we'll look at here that can do some active testing. But you wouldn't definitely would not want to do any active testing with this tool unless you've got permission. Now, for Google, as you can see here, it gives us some regional information about the, the hosts that are found, as well as some IP block information in a nice graph here. Now, it does give us information on DNS servers, MX records, A records, text records, things of that nature. And being that it's Google, those are going to be pretty extensive. Now, as you can see here, there are several options to get header information, which in this case is going to be active, to do zone transfer attempts, trace IPs. So there's some things here, getting banner information, as well as in-map scanning, which is going to be active. And again, we don't want to do any of that here. Now, in this case, um, when we are looking at maybe finding hosts that share this address, this can be beneficial if I'm working with a client or if you're an organization that uses a hosting provider, and you want to know what else, from a business standpoint, may share um, your, you know, block range. So in this case, there's no DNS record found for this particular entry. But if we click through a few others, we can see here that we have some other addresses that seem to be associated with this block. So that can be important because this address, this, this IP address, may not belong to just one business in the way that it's used. Domains may resolve to the same IP address in some cases. And so that's why when you do testing or you're looking at those things, you just want to be aware of how many other businesses may be affiliated with an IP address. And you can just play it safe in that in that vein as well. Now, you can also do search banners for NetBlock. So we can just simply click that and it will pull some additional information about uh, this particular address and how it responds. Now, we got to resubmit the form here. That's no problem. So it will have you do this anytime you navigate away from the page, but it's pretty simple to get back. So you can do a number of things here to do some information gathering. You can attempt to get header information. Now, sometimes these work, sometimes they don't, but in this case, you can see that it gives a response of move permanently. It finds some information, and then there's a success at the end. They're using some same origin policy here, which helps with uh, cross-site request forgeries and things of that nature as far as keeping those at bay. But all of those things aren't super important. Let's just say if I'm looking at it from the perspective of a business owner. So I want to see, okay, so this is what you could see if you search for my domain. This is the DNS information, the text records. But the thing that I really enjoy about this tool um, that I believe helps people to kind of visualize what their DNS information looks like. And keep in mind, this is Google, so it's going to be huge. But it gives us this nice map. And so the thing that I love about this map, again, very, very huge because this is Google, um, but it takes the A record information and it lays it out. If you had ports that were open like SSH, FTP, if it could detect server version information, it would do that here as well. 
and then it gives us some DNS information and MX record data as well. So if you're a business that thinks that all of your mail is on-prem and that's what a provider is telling you but then you do this check and then suddenly your mail records aren't going to the IP address associated with your business but you think they should be, this is a way to get insight. This is a way to see how things are, are traversing the internet and getting to your business and it could be very insightful. There may be things associated with your domain that you didn't think were associated with your domain that could be beneficial to a threat actor. So if I saw that FTP was open on one of these records, if I saw that there was a server version that was out of date, this is all passive in nature. So it could be very beneficial for me. So, you know, this is in effect uh, DNS dumpster in a nutshell. Um, I, I believe that the tool, again, provides great benefit to individuals that want to see the footprint of their organization, that want to understand how it looks. And so I hope you've enjoyed kind of this introduction to it. I encourage you to go out, put your business domain into the tool, see what it provides you. If you've got permission or uh, you get permission from your organization, by all means, give it a run and see what it does. So again, thank you for joining me today on Security Nibbles. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you here again soon.